Hi everyone, welcome to the session. Today we are going to see Hessian matrix or the higher order uh, derivatives. So in the uh, previous uh, video we have seen Jacobian matrix. Jacobian. Uh, in short we represent it as J. It was a uh, first order derivative. Uh, first order partial derivative. Uh, and that is called Jacobian. And in Hessian, uh, we uh, take the second order derivative. Okay. So higher higher order derivatives. Consider a function f mapping r two to r um, of two variables x and y. Okay, it's a two dimensional space. Uh, in that, we take two variables x and y. Then the higher order partial derivatives can be represented as follows. Okay, first one is dou square f by dou x square. That means uh, if we have the function f of x, we can first take the derivative with respect to x. Then again find the derivative. We get the, this derivative and take the next derivative of this function, of this answer again with respect to x. So that is dou, a, dou square f by dou x square. It's, it is the second order der, partial derivative of f with respect to x. And uh, we can find any number of uh, derivative in this uh, way. Uh, that means uh, if we again find the derivative of this once again dou by dou x of this answer of this derivative what we get is dou, dou cube f divided by dou x cube like that. So we can go we can do n number of derivations you know, like this. So, dou n f by dou x raised to n. It is the nth order partial derivative of f with respect to x. And in another way, so in, in, we can see that in all these, uh, we take the derivative with respect to x only. Every time we take the derivative with respect to x. And we have two variables x and y, so we can do the derivatives with respect to y also. Okay, that means in the same way we can find dou square f by dou x square, uh, sorry, dou y square. Okay, that means dou n f divided by dou y raised to n. That is also uh, possible, but here the derivation is with respect to y. That is the difference. Okay. And another way of finding the partial derivative, second order derivative is like this. We can use two different variables to do the derivation. So that means first we find the derivation with respect to a, x, okay, dou f by dou x. Then find uh, the derivative with respect to y for this answer, okay. That is dou square f by dou y dou x. So first we take the partial derivative. Uh, uh, first order partial derivative with respect to x then we take the first order uh, partial derivative with respect to y okay then uh, the reverse order that means first we can take the derivative with respect to y then with respect to x so here first we take the derivative with respect to y and then uh, find the derivative with respect to x okay and the Hessian is the collection of all second order partial derivatives, that is Hessian matrix. And uh, more or less these two answers are the same, irrespective of the order of the derivation, uh, uh, these two will be equivalent. So Hessian matrix is represented as H, capital H. Jacobian was represented with capital J. Similarly, this is represented as H, H capital H. And it gives you the collection of all the second order derivatives. So uh, this is the collection of all second order. We have actually three uh, derivatives. Dou square f by dou x square. Dou square f by dou y square. Then dou square f by dou x dou y. Okay. It is a symmetric matrix. And another representation of this uh, uh, Hessian matrix is del square. Okay. Jacobian um, was the collection of first order derivatives and we represented it like this del x of f okay and this is first order derivative and uh, hessian is second order so we add the square symbol along with this del sign del uh, square of x y f of x y okay so these are the variables we are uh, okay.
okay so that is the representation so if the function is um, f uh, from r n to r okay this is um, uh, this function this function f is from r to to r that means it has only two dimension it has only two variables so this function uh, matrix is having two by two um, dimension okay or two by two elements and if this uh, if the function is from r n to r then we will have uh, n dimension we have n variables so the hessian matrix will have n by n elements okay so the hessian will be an n by n matrix and hessian measures the curvature of the uh, uh, function locally around the x y uh, jacobian uh, gives you the slope of the function at a particular point and uh, uh, hessian will give you the curvature at that point if the function is a vector valued function okay so um, that means the answer is also a vector uh, from the function then it is represented like f mapping from r n to r m that means m elements there in the output and n elements in the input um, uh, or in other words um, answer is uh, m dimensional and uh, input is n dimensional then the hessian um, will be like this m into n by n matrix okay we call it as tensors tensor is uh, nothing but it is a multi-dimensional matrix okay so m is the output uh, dimension of output and m is the dimension of the input so the hessian will be uh, in this dimension m into n into n okay then uh, linearization uh, of the functions okay suppose we have a function like this this black colored uh, uh, is the this is the uh, function okay this is the function f of x this plot okay then we can this is a non-linear uh, function okay non-linear okay so we can make it linear uh, by applying this formula for a particular point okay we take this point x0 and we can make this function linear uh, based on this value x0 based on this x0 value okay so we use this formula to find the linear equation or linear equation representing this straight line okay this equation is like f of x0 plus f dash x0 into x minus x0 okay so this is the gradient and this will give you the intercept Uh, like this so that means that this f of x is equivalent to this one in and around x0 okay you, you can consider only this much area okay or uh, somewhat smaller okay if you take only these uh, this part of your f of x then this linearization is almost uh, same okay it is almost similar okay this line and uh, the part of this line and the part of this graph are almost same okay but when we move away from this x0 you can see that the difference is higher uh, you cannot say that uh, uh, this line is equivalent to this part of this function so it's not possible to say but when we talk about a closer area to x0 uh, these two are almost similar that is only uh, about linearization okay so the original function is approximated by a straight line and the approximation is locally accurate okay not this point it is locally accurate near to x0 and uh, there will be only poor extra approximation when we move away from x0 and this kind of approximations or linearization we apply in linear regression okay when we use uh, linear regression in machine learning we have to go for these kind of uh, linearization okay that is all about uh, um, hessian and uh, linearization and thank you for uh,